How many do you have at this point? One, two, three. Got like five. I say five. Nah, I say like seven. I really I don't. That was just telling them before we came in here. I'm like, man, I don't know where that shit at for real. <laughs> <laughs> I have a mirror there. Do you need to see that? Right. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Yeah, seven. Seven. Now, yeah. can you share the meanings behind any of those face tats with us today? Yeah, which one you want to know first? Uh, I would really like to learn all of them, but it's whatever you, you care to share. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, um, the hate love right here, is, you know what I'm saying? I put it above my eye. I mean, over my eye, you know what I'm saying? I hate love, you know what I'm saying? Got the long, the ALD right there with the heartbreak. That long little dude, one of my partners ended up getting killed. I'm saying about a year ago, long little dude. Then I got over here, I got Nessa over here. It was actually um, a young female, me and Rollo did a team party. And um, the club ended up getting shot up, all type of shit, and the girl ended up dying. You know what I'm saying, long little Nessa. And um, over here, I got the long little shark. That's, um, that's my cousin Slim. Y'all hear me rap by him a lot in all my songs, really. Uh, um, he came home from prison. Like, he went not home a whole year. And you know what I'm saying? He ended up jumping back in the street and killed two. And um, when I got believe. That's the number one thing you gotta do in life believe. You know what I'm saying? Believe yourself. Yeah, that's about it. Well, I'm missing one. I'm missing yeah, one. Yeah, what I'm missing? A, a bird. A bird. Yeah. Okay, that's the main one. The main one. Well, um, that's actually my hood. My hood called Birdsville, and every street in my hood is named after a bird. You know what I'm saying? We got Raven Drive, Eagle Drive, you know what I'm saying? All type of shit. But Cardinal, you know, all that is just named after birds. So I went and put the eagle over here. But all my partners, they got the Raven. Well, I went and got the eagle, but they went and got the Raven. But we all from Ra Raven Drive, though. Does everybody get that uh, tat that bird tattoo in the same place you yeah, have yours? Yeah, the same exact spot. If they got this bird or they got a bird, it's in that exact spot. I see. Now, uh, when it comes to these face tattoos, do people ever mistake any of them for something else? Um, not really. I don't really. Nobody never came to me mistaking it for nothing else. Now let's take a step back, because you have tattoos on other parts of your body, not just your face. Yeah, really just my face. I ain't got nothing on my arms or nothing. Uh, some on your hands? Oh yeah, that's it. That's it though. Uh, like nothing on body part, nothing. Just that. Now which one was the very first tattoo on your body ever? Um, i say it was, it had to be the, the Nessa. Oh, no, it was the Fred, the one right here on the back of my neck. Fred, Fred, that was my first face. Well, it ain't need no face tag, it's actually a neck tag. But that was my first one. And do you remember what age you were when you got that? Um, like 18, 17, something like that. You, I, don't know, I had about two years. You were still in school or out of school by that point? Um, I think I was out of school. I was out of school. Now, when you get that tattoo, um, What did your parents think? Uh, she, uh, my mama, really, she, she had fuck with it. When I went to get another stuff, she went looking crazy. But I'm like, look, man, it's time for that. Like, I ain't worried about no job, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gotta go get no job. Like, nigga having this shit, I ain't studying that. And I knew, I knew what I wanted to do, you know what I'm saying? I knew I ain't wanna work. Like, I knew I was gonna make something happen. So I really wouldn't care about no job or no shit. Now, when you get your first face tattoo, that was on your neck. Mm -hmm. When you get your first tattoo on your face, which one was that, if you can remember? Um, it was, I think the long little dude. Are you including knees on the side too? That's a, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, no, I say the one that pretty much was dead on your face. Oh uh, yeah, I think it was the long little dude right here. Now, okay, oh, let's- was it? The long little dude, yeah. Now let's break this down. Okay, now your mom, she wasn't, I think you said she wasn't really tripping about the first tattoo on the neck. Right. But she's, you said she did get a little crazy <laughs> with the other tattoo. Yeah, she did, but you know, nigga grown now, she ain't too much she can say, you know what I'm saying? I do know that sometimes parents have body part requests when they start to see their child tattoo their body. So when you get that neck one, does she say like, hey, don't go for the face? Does she say- Nah, don't she go ain't, she never said that. But, I, cause I came in with the first hat, like, she was looking crazy, but that was really it. 
Now, because you have various tattoos that are prominently on your face, when you go for that neck one the first time, was that kind of like testing the waters? Did you want a face tattoo back then and maybe didn't know, nah, so, you, so you tried the neck? It just went with the flow, you know what I'm saying? Like, I might go put this on my face, so, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't always worry about a face tat since I was little, no shit like that. Now, uh, when it comes to face tats, how uh, popular or unpopular is that where you're from? It's really not popular where I'm from, but I do feel like I made other f folks go get that, you know what I'm saying? Because really, before I did that shit, ain't nobody had no face tat for real. I mean, it was a couple people, don't get me wrong, but now, nah, like, a lot of niggas got face tats in my city. That one above your eyebrow, long live Duke, right. uh, he passed away. You mentioned he was killed. Right. How soon after his death do you go and get that tattoo? Um, probably like two weeks later or some shit like that. Was that spontaneous for you or you knew you wanted to put that on your face? No, I just, yeah, I, I, I knew I wanted to do it. Like, after that happened, it was just like a couple weeks later. And, and I always, in my song, I was like, my dead home is on my face. We don't need shirts. Like, that's why. I'm like, I gotta go get Duke on my face. You could have put that on any part of your body, but that was important right. to you to put on your face? Oh, definitely. Gotta see that shit. Were any of your face tattoos painful? Nah, shit don't really hurt for real. Well, like, when you get down here by the eyebrow, like, that's where it hurt at, really, but that shit ain't gonna hurt. When you, uh, when you get that first one right there on your eyebrow, the long lip Duke, and you look into the mirror for the first time, Mm -hmm. What did you think after it was completed? Oh, shit. No, it, just, it knew how I knew it was going to look. You know what I'm saying? I knew how that shit was going to look. I wasn't surprised and no shit. Now, what's the public reaction you get from strangers to your face tattoos? Um, I be catching some people looking. You know what I'm saying? You might not catch it, right? But you might be out, you know what I'm saying? For uh, They might double look or some shit. But that's regular, though. Never embarrassed about your face tattoos? Nah, hell no. Nah. Hey, fuck, what am I think about this shit? Little kids can be brutally honest. Right. What do they say when they see your face tattoos? I never really had no reaction from kids, for, for real. Uh, they might ask me what it mean, but the main one be the bird if they ask. Mm -hmm. What that bird mean? Yeah. They really know. You don't have any kids yet, I take it? Nah, no kids. If you did have a child, right. how would you feel about them getting a face tattoo shoe on the other foot? I mean, it depends on how old they is. You know what I'm saying? Like, they young as hell, hell no, nah, you ain't gonna get no face tat. Or you get wait till you get older like I did. Now, what about women? Do you notice a certain type of women that are attracted to you or not attracted to you since you, started, face yeah, since you started tatting your face? Um... Nah, they don't really say nothing about it. But I did have women be like, don't get no more face tattoos, but you still going to fuck with me. I can go put 10 tats on my face, ho. She still going to fuck with me. What about when it comes to meeting their parents? Uh, nah, I, you know what I'm saying? I don't be like, damn, I need to hide. No, like, you either you're going to accept this shit or you ain't. Never lost a relationship because of your facial tattoos? Nah. Now... When it comes to, you mentioned strangers. They've looked at you, double take, that sort of thing. Right. Have you ever faced, though, judging, stereotyping, profiling, or some sort of discrimination because of your facial tattoos? Nah, I didn't. I thought I was, though. Like, damn, if I go see the judge, she might, you know what I'm saying? But nah, I ain't gonna never know shit like that. Did you actually face a judge with those tattoos? I did. Now, did an attorney ever say anything to you about your facial tat before you go see the judge or? Nah. So you, you, you did pretty good with them. All right. Never felt like you missed an opportunity because of your facial tattoos? No, not at all. On the opposite end of the spectrum, you feel like you've gained opportunities because of them? Um, nah, yeah, nah. Not because I don't feel like I gained no opportunity to do that because it's on face tag. No. Any regrets? None at all. But I got a lot of shit I won't tell you. 
Are you addicted? To text? Yeah. No, nah, I don't say I'm addicted. Yeah. And I ain't not addicted to tattoos. Any plans for more? Uh, yeah, well, of course. For my body, though. Right, I'm done with my face. You're done with the face. <clears throat> now, when it comes to uh, your current tattoos that you have, all by the same uh, tattoo artist? Nah, it was different tattoo artists. You have a main go-to tattoo artist? Oh, um, not really. Whoever, five, you know what I'm saying? I don't go fuck with them. And they don't be no big shit, so I ain't worried about being ugly or no shit because it's not big. If you fuck this up, you just need to stop telling.